Hi, I'm John DeVore. Welcome to the channel. Today's a record review. Nice and simple, short and sweet. I originally had in mind to do a review of a record that just recently arrived here that I've been obsessed with. And then I began unpacking the box of records that I had shipped to Munich that I was going to demo with, but of course the turntable wasn't really set up or anything like that, so they ended up not getting played. And one of the records that I pulled out of that box is one of my favorite, it, it's one of my current favorite records right now. It's a record, it's a jazz trio, it's Keith Jarrett, Yesterdays, and it is his, it's what's called, I guess, I don't know if it's officially called or if, if it's just been named his Standards Trio. And this is a trio that plays more straight ahead jazz and they play standards. The trio is made up of Keith Jarrett on piano, pretty much my all-time favorite jazz drummer of all time, uh, and who is still around and still playing, uh, Jack DeJeanette, and Gary Peacock on bass. Unbelievably amazing lineup, and what makes this lineup even more impressive is the way that they play together. They each individually are absolutely virtuosos. Keith Jarrett, legendarily, with his left and right hand independence and his deep ability to spontaneously create, as most famously done in the Colne concerts, uh, that record is just solo Keith Jarrett. Uh, Jack DeJeanette is, in my opinion, he's, he's the greatest cymbal player that has ever existed. <laughs> uh, he has elevated, I mean, he's an amazing drummer, but he elevated the, in, for me, in my opinion, he has elevated the cymbals part of the drums higher than anyone before him. His, generally speaking, his playing has this incredible, loose, but unambiguously swinging um, style to it. He has played in more modern styles and he's played in these sort of classic styles. Um, but one of the things that really makes him impressive, and maybe, and maybe it's one of the reasons why I like him with this Keith Jarrett group so much, is that I feel like Jack has five-way independence. Normally, uh, a great drummer has four-way independence. Left hand, right hand, left foot, right foot. Um, and each of those things can be doing something a little bit different uh, without... Uh, Inter interfering with his other limbs. Right hand on the ride, left hand on the snare, right foot on the kick drum, left foot on the hi-hat. Jack DeJeanette definitely has four-way independence better than most. He is more expressive with his left foot just on the hi-hat than 99% of working drummers are using all of their limbs and all of the components of the drum set. What, I what I'm talking about with five-way independence is that I feel like the metronome, wherever the metronome lives in Jack, whether it's in his head or in his heart or in his gut, I feel like the way Jack DeJeanette plays is almost as though he has been able to liberate the metronome, uh, his internal metronome as well. And what do I mean by that? When you hear Jack soloing, I'm talking about when he does a fill or when he does a solo, suddenly the independence becomes really independent and he doesn't appear to be even following the tempo very precisely. It's kind of, it's back there, it's, it's up here, it's sort of tumbling and, and you don't really know where it, it's going to hit and yet it always nails home in time, in tempo, and so a masterful player like Keith Jarrett or Gary Peacock for that matter, they know that Jack is on it and then th that they're all going to be there at the same time in perfect sync. It's a, it's a quality that I've not heard really with other drummers. Uh, there's a friend of mine who knows Jack and has recorded him says Jack DeJeanette describes it like clothes in a dryer. <laughs> And so the clothes are just tumbling and don't seem to have any rhythm, and yet the dryer itself 
is the rhythm and they are they're always essentially in time even though individually those clothes are not necessarily in time uh, and, it, and that's sort of what I mean by the five-way independence the record uh, let me I might as well show it yesterday's there it is it is a live record uh, recorded 20 years ago something or maybe more it was released in 2009 but I think this is like 2000 or 2001 when it was recorded I think that's when these guys were playing a lot and there's a couple of live albums from then uh, and all standards and absolutely definitive versions of a lot of these standards highly highly recommended also sonically the reason it was in my box that went to Munich is because sonically this is a fantastic record it it's Great. I mean, live records don't always sound pristinely right. A lot of times a great sounding live record is great because it sounds live and it's a little bit raw. This one somehow manages to be both. It is pristine and impeccable sounding as like the best studio recordings are and yet it has live energy. I, I think this particular trio tends to be better in their live performances than in their studio performances. Uh, and this captures all of the greatness uh, all the way through. Just killer. I love it. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked that video and I will see you at the next one.